have a fabulous rest of your morning, but don't you dare move a muscle. Hey, Wendy Ryan? Absolutely. That's right, Michelle. You can hear the beagles in the background. We're going to get to them in just a bit, but first we have a lengthy airport email from Don. We're not going to read the whole thing, but Don says, I'm disappointed that councils closed the airport without a mandate from the people of the city. There's no reason why this question could not have been put to us during the next election. He says, I support incorporating the downtown airport into a larger transportation hub. Uh, he, and then he basically talks about how this is going to contribute to greater traffic at Edmonton International, Cooking Lake and Villeneuve airports. And basically says the only reason the downtown airport's not making money right now is because limitations placed on it by the Edmonton Airport Authority. Once it's gone, he says it's gone and we don't have to compete with Calgary for skylines with tallest buildings. I think that the problem was we, a lot of people just didn't feel like they had all the information. And yeah, I think that including was Including councillors that were including voting. Including councillors as well. Absolutely. Listen, when we return, we're talking uh, furry friends, there are beagles galore in our studio right now. How do you oh, take one? Beagles, beagles, it's a life for me. Running through the forest, chasing rabbits, sniffing trees. Life as a beagle. Much, Bridget. I'm here with uh, Kerwin and Valerie with uh, Beagle Paws, and of course, uh, the rest of the guests need no introduction. We've got some proud parents here, and a whole bunch of beagles. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Our now, um, we want to get right to the bare bones of this interview, and that is Beagle Paws needs a bit of help from the public out here, from our viewers. But first of all, what's Beagle Paws all about, Kerwin? It's uh, primarily a beagle rescue. It's um, Primarily based in Newfoundland, but we do have a volunteer base in Alberta and BC. Okay, and uh, the idea being, Valerie, of course, you're a volunteer with the group. Uh, people um, either surrender beagles that they can't look after, or beagles are rescued, and then you find homes for these this specific breed. What is it about beagles that uh, has captured your heart? What's so special about this breed of dog? I think that's the whole point is that they do just capture your heart. Yeah. And a, a lot of people that have one beagle want a second for company for their first beagle. And a lot of our foster homes are people that have a dog already and, and want friends for the ones they've got. Beautiful. Now, Kerwin, we know we're not trying to adopt these dogs out, but that's a good thing because these dogs have found homes. Talk to yes. us about some of these rescue stories. We've got uh, proof in the pudding right here. Well, yeah, we actually have uh, one who's a therapy dog, um, has, has now become a therapy dog here in the Edmonton area. I have uh, one that has come kind of from the um, page of shame on their website, and uh, she was you know, left out in the cold, and it's believed that they are outdoor dogs, not family pets, okay. which they are. Lou came, and she was extremely ill, thousands and thousands of dollars to get her back into shape, and now is healthy and happy and doing great. We've had uh, some surrenders that were, you know, get this dog out of our house, we yeah. can't deal with it, and they are just quiet. And okay, so basically the stories uh, run the whole oh, gamut the whole from, from dogs that have been abused, dogs that have been sick, dogs that have been surrendered. And, and the good news is is that uh, Beagle Paw is working to place them in homes, but that means that you need foster parents and volunteers. Big time. We are really in desperate need of foster families. In fact, we just had a local surrender here uh, a couple of weeks ago. We couldn't even foster the, the dog here in the Edmonton area, we have to send them to a foster home in Calgary. Okay, let me ask you really quick, like literally 10 seconds or less, what's involved in volunteering to be a foster parent? Love of dogs. Uh, you have to go through a, a, a quick screening with Beagle Paws to make sure you're providing a good home for the dog and that it's the right match for you and the dog. Okay. And, yeah. and if it's just volunteering, it's no more than maybe an hour a week, if that. We're talking about walking dogs, helping clean up. Uh, yeah. not, even, not even that. It's, uh, we, are, we are looking for foster homes, and there's a bigger commitment there, obviously. Yeah. But uh, we like to do home visits to make sure the home is suitable for the animals before they get adopted out. Right. And we need help there, and that's about a half hour to an hour process. All right. Maybe a, once a week. Okay. Well, the group is Beagle Paws. If you're not sold now, you're never going to be sold because look at these faces, these beautiful dogs. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Check our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, for all the links you need if you think you can help volunteer. Michelle McDougall warms your hearts. Oh, thanks. Sure does. <laughs> running around There's in here. Beagle We're having so much here. fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. They're taking off. They're running all over the place. They're fantastic. We have one little guy who just, he needed to be heard. He had a story to tell, and he just needed to keep communicating it. All the rest of them silent as anything and just uh, so well behaved. Absolutely beautiful dogs. Check out Beagle Paws Aww. again on our website breakfasttelevision.ca. Bridget Ryan <laughs> is putting the pedal to the metal when we sure come back. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs>